You know, when we left work on Friday, we knew there was going to be a storm. I think no one anticipated the magnitude. The other thing is, uh, still have all fire stations, the phones are still intermittent in terms of use. We still don't have any problems with water sewer, right? The sewer system's running fine. It was a horrific situation, and we really did not know that it would take out more people in an their power than we've ever had before. So we're getting the lights back on where we stand. Oh, we have five the Emergency Operations Center is an Arlington County office that can stand up in the event of any type of emergency in order to make sure that residents are safe. Uh, it can be weather related, uh, it could be an earthquake, it could be anything. Uh, county departments are called together to provide the, the needed response. I got a call at 2 in the morning. I think it was open by 4 or 5 on Saturday morning. And um, staff's been working around the clock here. You know, the biggest thing you have to worry about is dehydration and the heat, particularly with our elder, elderly residents, and we've been checking in on them. We were going door to door. Um, these places do not have power. Uh, so a lot of them are, we're worried about getting overheated. Because of the storm and the subsequent power outages and the extreme heat, uh, Arlington County decided to open a number of cooling centers, which are exactly as they, as they sound. It's a place people can go to cool off in the event that they don't have power or air conditioning. I've been through a lot of disasters in the last number of years. This is probably one of the more difficult ones. We're ready to be here as long as we need to.